Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name is Mkolisi, the son of Nobe, and I'm here just to give uh, an update uh, on the Triple C. In fighting, you will know that the party has been embroiled in some infighting of late with uh, the interim secretary general of the party, Mr. Sengezo Chabang, having recalled members uh, of the party from parliament, 14 members of parliament. Uh, he says these have ceased to be members of Triple C. We don't know yet how they ceased to be members of the party but what he is fighting for uh, he is saying uh, these people were imposed in the positions or in the constituencies which they ended up representing after the august 23 and 24 uh, 2023 elections the harmonized elections that zimbabwe uh, went uh, through which ushered in new parliamentarians, new members of the Senate, and new uh, council members and mayors. So Chabangu, who first complained on the day uh, of the nomination court when Chamisa had just declared uh, certain people as uh, election candidates to represent the party in different constituencies. So we saw some interviews in which Chabang uh, complained that people were imported, especially to Wulawayo, where the party was assured of always winning uh, a protest vote. So these uh, recalled MPs then took him to court and the Harare High Court upheld their recalls, which means that the by-elections are going ahead um, with the nomination court set to sit uh, on Tuesday, that is tomorrow, which is the 7th uh, of November, to process the papers of those who want to stand in the by-elections. After that, uh, the 9th of December has been declared by President Emerson Nangakwa to be the day on which the elections, that is the by-elections, are going to be held in these respective uh, constituencies. So this matter was taken to court. Chabang won the court case and we spoke to him uh, this week soon after. He won his court case and uh, this is what he said. Well, we, we, we welcome uh, the judgment, uh, the High Court judgment, uh, which was uh, well detailed uh, and this is a victory to the people of Zimbabwe who were put on trial uh, by the strategy of ambiguity. Uh, so we are going to the by-elections, we are preparing these by-elections, we are preparing for the nomination court, which is day after tomorrow on Tuesday, the 7th. Uh, so we are placing candidates, we are not going to have another primary elections, but we are going to consider those uh, leaders or those uh, candidates who were chosen by the people and but were elbowed uh, out by the, the system. Uh, so we are going to give them a chance to, to represent the communities once more. So yes, we are occupying every democratic zone which uh, can be created by ZANU, that can be created by whichever means. So we are not going to leave any any fighting zone uh, uh, unattended. So we are going to go for the by-elections. Well, as you can hear from the host mouth, Triple uh, C is going to fail the candidates in the coming by-elections and Chabangu has previously said that he is going to sign for those candidates as the party's interim secretary general. So it means that uh, those people who were supposedly elbowed out by favoritism within the party as Chabangu claims are going to be the ones standing uh, for the party in these by-elections. They are not going to go through any process of uh, trying to find candidates via primary elections, but it seems that they already know who is going to stand uh, in which position and in which constituency. So we look forward to hearing more about who these people are uh, on Tuesday because the nomination court is going to sit on Tuesday, the 7th of November, as declared by President Emerson Nangakwa. So stay tuned. If you have anything to say uh, about this, you can reach us uh, via uh, WhatsApp on plus 2773-962-3075. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day.